now we come to the policy charging function policy charging function is involved in the dynamic policy decisions based upon network conditions such as congestion subscriber geolocation etc now what does this mean uh, to give you an example for example a user equipment or a mobile is located in a gnb where it has bad channel conditions and this user equipment wants to make a call so this request of a call would reach the pcf through the session management function now pcf can uh, here make two decisions one decision is to throttle the data of that user of this mobile or this user so that it can make the video call or it can refuse the call altogether pcf can refuse the call altogether so in this case the pcf is closely interacting with the session management function similarly pcf is also involved in the management of service areas now what is a service area service area for a user equipment is the list of allowed and not allowed tracking areas so if a user equipment is in a tracking area that is not allowed for for him so if and uh, and if that user area a uh, user equipment or the mobile wants to make a call then pcf can interact with emf and it can refuse that call altogether so pcf can uh, interact with emf smf and also ef and uh, when a user makes a call or uses the services of a 5g network how that user is charged that is also dis decided by the pcf which may take into the account the factors la like what quality of service is being offered offered to a user so when you compare with lte the pcf is very similar to the pcrf in the lte